Hi, welcome back to Commander Speedy's channel. Um, I'm returning to um, Alpha 4.1 now. Uh, yep, yeah, Frontier have released um, some fix, very quick fix packs um, purely to um, sort some very annoying issues out. One for the Octopus Rift players in which um, there's some added head movement when uh, the hyperspace and when the super cruise is used. And basically, um, they were causing some sickness in play. But um, they've been resolved now, and some of those problems should have only been caused, or been ha the fix was to remove some of the side to side uh, swaying fixes rather than being the forward and back for when extra speed is, in, uh, is invoked. So I'm returning back to the game in terms of um, understanding now quite a lot about the mechanics of this now rather than just some of the issues I had on the last recording. So um, let's just see, I can't remember what stage I'm at with the ship. Right. Oh, turn voice control on. Right. 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 Ah, oh, brilliant. It's going to mess around today. Right. Right. Right, okay. Yeah, I've got no cargo, so I need to go and dock. So let's go and um, left. Let's go and get permission. Left. Left. Auto dock. Autopilot. Autopilot engaged, Commander. Some of their things I've been messing around with. Left. Okay, R2. Alright, so let's go back to the starport services. So as I showed last time, we can go buying some commodities. Oh, that's, that seems to be a lot of noise. We can go buying some commodities. So we're at uh, Dahan at the moment, and some of the good things here to buy. Um, just reminding myself it's been a, a little while since I played this. Oh, what was I transferring from uh, Darhang? So, if, aha, I remember now, this is where I wasn't buying from. So, let's buy some titanium. And I'm looking at some of the track trips that I've made. So, we're going to buy some titanium, 733. Okay, and um, my ship hasn't come out now. Every now and again when I've started up, i found that sometimes there is damage to the ship, which is quite annoying. Um, I've been playing this game from a point of view of keeping to a sidewinder without upgrading and trying to fly with minimal commodities that if I lose a ship it doesn't matter and I can just start with a brand new loadout rather than having to pay the insurance which costs a lot more money so from that way I'm quickly building up the money so as long as I avoid pirates and fly into main zones uh, like the Federation then you're pretty safe so left oh I've turned voice act yeah I keep switching it on and off left left Right, so let's go and have a look at the, uh, the galaxy map. So since the last time we played this, I got all very excited in terms of the map and the usage of the map. Um, what it's quite clear now from my understanding is that this beta only allows us to, to fly to the 
to a few of these systems, so iBootis, LH, S3006, Irani, LP98132, which is very um, quite a hard place to fly to because of the anarchy, anarchy that's there. But um, when I jumped in there and played, flew there, I, I got jumped four or five times, which was interesting, but managed to survive and get to the space station. Acelius, I'm assuming I'm pronouncing these right. Um, and then where we are right now, which is Darhan. So looking at my sheet from where I flew to last time, I flew to Ibutus, and that's where we're going to aim for now. So I'm going to select it because it gives me the destination of where we're going. I think I showed you before with the, the filters and looking around the map, but the, the main thing is now I've got my destination set. So I'm going to get out of it. And as you might hear, some of the sound seems to be a little bit broken in this. Gear. Turn my own. So getting a little bit more cocky with the launching again. Bringing up my engine to full pelt. So, when I was playing this last, I wasn't quite sure how um, the cruising would work, but now I do. Cruise. Drive charging. Cargo scoop deployed. Scoop. Cargo scoop retracted. So basically, when you enter um, Super Cruise, it's where I like to go to first. You can go into a hyper jump straight away, but I like to be into a cruise just to get me used to the fact that when you hyper jump and then you come out of hyper jump, you actually come out into Super Cruise, which seems a bit odd, and then you have to come out of Super Cruise into normal. So Super Cruise, you're flying around and you're looking around for your destination or wherever you're going to. So as you can tell at the bottom, um, the left hand side of the planet you can see the speed building up into uh, thousands of kilometres an hour. So basically that's what you're doing with Super Cruise, you're jumping into those thousands of kilometres an hour just to, to really travel through space quickly. But from a point of view of jumping in, I'm, I'm what, 10, 10 light years away from my booty, so it's going to take days if not years to get there. So I'm now going to jump to hyper, hyper space. Hyperspace, jump. Drive charging. Jump. Drive charging. Now what you've got to do with the jump is you've got to face the destination that you're going to fly to and you need to throttle up. And if you don't have throttle up it asks you to. Four, three, two, one. Now on the forums we've been discussing these are all just effects at the moment that are not in the um, area of space that you are, but apparently they are dynamic, it's not just a bit of video. So the intention is eventually the elite uh, frontier will actually use the planet that you're near. Now as you notice I'm uh, pointing away from the star, so when you do a super cruise you jump to that star system and you jump to the star then to fly to where you want to go. So what you immediately want to do and what I was trying to figure out last time is I didn't realise I was still in super cruise mode. So if I build up my speed, I'm still in thousand miles kilometres now. Now you don't see any indication that you're in super cruise, so I might raise that as a def as a bug. But if I go now into the main menu, into iBootis, I want to go and find the um, Chango dock. So I'll lock onto that. And then when I point in the direction of it, and you'll notice on the, the left hand side again column, we're in super cruise mode at the moment. So we're rattling quite fast to the actual planet or destination that you've got. So in, this, in my scenario, the uh, space station. So you'll see the um, light speed units dropping down very quickly. I think that's light speed. Basically, you'll see under the um, 
to the left of the hologram of the ship you'll see the normal power indicator and you'll see our dots now my understanding now is that's the optimum speed you should be flying for it to help you um, control the speed correctly so you land or you basically you follow those blue dots and basically that's the optimum speed to get to your destination in a very safe way and if you follow it you eventually you, you end up at the right speed for the destination so if you look at and I'm going to bring me down just so I don't get there too quickly if you look at the left hand panel t to the uh, planet that's there you'll see two well three columns first the one with the distance and speed the distance is the current distance to the destination and the desired now the desired is the distance that you've got to be away from where you're heading to jump out to super cruise so the speed there is also the current speed and the desired speed you need to be when you get to that destination so the idea is as those blue bars or those pips will give you an indication of the speed you need to be in to safely come out of super cruise so I'm going to speed up a little bit so you can go faster and as you approach too fast you will get the navi warning so you can use the navi warning very quickly to slow down the ship to make sure that you get there slightly quicker than those optimum pips but that you don't waste a lot more time if you understand what I mean because I want to get there quicker than the blue pips because they do take a while now there you go so the navi if I point to the planet the navy lights up. Now we can actually fly around the planet if we're really careful, which I love. I love the fact that you can do this. And if I put a nice speed on, I can use my mouse and I can use a heads up. And if I'm really careful, we can fly right around the planet, which is just brilliant. I've also got to be careful that I don't fly towards something else that lights up my navy. So as you can see the Chango dock there, I'm getting very very close but I'm actually going to fly around the planet for a minute. Oh, I've flown too close to something so I've come out. Oh no! I've been pulled out of space by some pirates. So someone's pulled me out of space. Out. So I'm 20,000 kilometers away. So someone's scanning me. But I actually want to super cruise. So you can jump back into super cruise if you're quick Four, enough. Three, two, one. So I don't want to mess around. So I won't, sorry, I was going to fly around the planet for you, but that's obviously, if I've got no cargo, I wouldn't mind, but as I've got some cargo and I don't want to lose that money. So I'm going to fly in towards the Chango dock. And I need, down to, I need to be down to 200 kilometers and at 200 kilometers per second. So as I get hit that target, I want to be on the blue, on those pips. Get it right, but I'm just getting there a little bit quicker. And then you can then press the button to come out of Super Cruise. So you'll see a message pop up in a second on that left hand side under Chango Dock saying you're now safe to exit Super Cruise. Safe to disengage. Ready? I'll press the button. And out to come. Now what we're actually doing now is, is this is meant to be a holding pattern whilst the, um, the servers connect you to whoever, whichever players are actually flying around at the moment. So we're using the panel to the left hand side of the hologram to line up the space station and here we are. Gonna go to full engines. Watching back some of this video uh, I realise I do scratch my face an awful lot. I do apologise for that. Gear. So I was just using the voice attack there to set my gears out, or my landing gear, 
and I have to keep turning it off and on because obviously for this recording as soon as I mention landing gear it toggles it back Now some players have been complaining about finding the entrance to the space station. Um, as you'll notice, it, they don't all face towards the planet, which is a little bit annoying. I don't know whether uh, Frontier will change or not, but I look, most of the jumps that I've made, I've found I've been in the right side, but it's quite easy to determine. You look at the rotation of the space station, and it can be only one of two sides. It's just figuring out which side. Left. So we'll get permission. Left. Request granted. Left. Left. Now, have you noticed there was a canister there? And I think if you go and highlight it, it's probably some of the space stations are being a bit glitchy, and people are being caught out. Some players have been caught out and uh, end up dying, and their canisters are left inside the space station or in positions of the place of uh, the space station that can't actually be gathered. Oh, there's somebody waiting by the entrance. Don't know what they're doing. Oh, and I'm really coming in a bit fast. That was a bit close for comfort. And I want port 31. And I'm getting a little way too cocky with the landing and flying now. So I need to just take a little bit easier just to prove that I can do this quite cleanly and that's how easy landing can be it's just getting the right joystick set up and control so here we are in the start port and clearly and I had a record a bit later on the prices don't seem to fluctuate right now so the titanium that I had purchased So I can sell them for 895, so I'm making 120, 162 credits per sale. So I'm slowly building up my balance, not as quickly as I'd like. And then from here I would then purchase something else, so some fish, and I would fly the fish to Azaban. Um, and by going there, I tend to make um, a, a 110 credits per sale there. So it's very, very slow. So you're looking at about 400, 500 credits per journey. So it is quite long consuming. Some players are moaning about the super cruise between the two space stations. I don't have a problem with that. The only issue I have is, is obviously the Sidewinder starts with such small cargo holds. So it's very hard. Um, some people are buying the new ships, uh, for instance the Eagle, the Eagle that has even less from what I understand, we can't actually get any stats for the actual other ships, because it doesn't let you until you've got the money. Um, but the Eagle has less, but it's faster, so people are buying those and upgrading and putting weapons on and then going out and f flying the fighting scenarios, um, which then gaining the credits for that. Um, clearly you can also fly out to the the places where they've got uh, mining going on and you can take out the ships and then collect their cargo and coming back. At the moment with my way of the balance of the money I'm trying to get to around about 10,000 credits so I can buy a couple of mounted uh, gimbal mounted weapons and then enough insurance for me then to go out and start taking on some of the battle areas. So that's just a preference for me. I'm, given the trading is quite simple it's just a case of me just taking the time at the moment and paying just to fly between the two. Um, we also mentioned, or I mentioned last time, the black market. So yes, there was the issue on the last video that I had tea. Um, it wasn't coming up in the main panel. That's because you have to go to black, the black market and sell it there. So even though there is tea on the main commodities market, because the canisters are marked up as stolen, you can't sell them on the main one, you have to find a black market. Now a couple of the systems that you fly to don't actually have a black market, so you have to fly to the right type of the right station for that to actually be used. Um, what else is there that I've... Um, so we can have a look at the outfitting. So all the costs for the, all the different weapons are now listed, which is really, really good. 
And you can see, now there's been some discussions that the weapons themselves aren't as powerful as what they've been in the previous alphas, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but then again, if that's the balancing act that's required, then certainly it's good for everybody. Some of the discussions around that balancing is so that you can escape. So when you're pulled out of super crews, like you saw with myself, you're able to jump out. Now, I've been pulled in by four Cobras before. Now, from that point of view, I had no chance. There are, you can set up to actually press a button to drop out one canister or many out your cargo hold. So the idea is, is you get intercepted, you can drop, and then you can run away, and usually you're left alone. Now, from my point of view, uh, it's either fight or die. <laughs> from my point of view, if I can't run away straight away, then I would just turn around and fight and die. Um, I don't like the idea of giving up cargo for anybody. So anybody who actually sees me on around in space, yeah, do attack me if you want, but I will go down with a fight. <laughs> That's just me. Uh, you're spending all that time. Obviously, lots of people are complaining at the moment about how they're finding that sometimes they take the uh, cargo into the store, go to sell it, and then the money's not transacted properly or the client falls over. I'm not actually having any problems with the client at all. Um, maybe that's me touching wood, hopefully. I, I mean, I've had a couple of crashes, but they've just been random rather than anything specifically. Usually when uh, coming out of Super Cruise and connecting to the area that I'm in. Now, that's the other side. That's what under the 4.1 fixes that there was a known bug in that area of which it would crash so I think that's looking today it's been very very stable very exciting it's just a case of me continuing trading so um, I'm going to record end the recording here but I'm actually going to go and carry on playing so thanks for watching um, I will be back with anything that's more interesting probably when I get to the dog fighting stage um, so this is Commander Speedy signing out